we've got Kay Bilo live right yes. now. Yes, Indeed. hello. No excuses. You None. can watch us on every everywhere you go. That's right. Love That's it. right. That's right. How's it looking? It is looking really pretty out there this it evening, is. but it is chilly. Temperatures today did not get out of the 30s mm -hmm. as promised. It's the coldest day of the week, but we're talking a couple days in the 60s next week. <laughs> nice. Still can't get ready. It. Break out mm -hmm. the flip flops. 60s <laughs> in February. Let's talk about right. it. We'll start off with what's happening outside right now. And again, it is a little chilly out there. We got to a high of 39 today. Average is 41. Not that far below average. We certainly have had worse weather in January. In fact, this day last year set a record low of seven degrees. 2019, January 30th. That was the record. We're doing a lot better this year. Here's a look outside and current conditions in the city of Philadelphia. Right now it is 36 degrees. It feels like 30 degrees, and that's thanks to a little bit of a wind chill out there. The dew point is 18, very dry air. Winds are light out of the north northeast at about eight miles per hour, but it's a beautiful sunset shot out there as we look live from the Parkway Central Library camera. Let's take you around the region and take a peek at some more temperatures outside because depending on where you are, it's already starting to get a little cold. It's 32 in Quakertown right now, 34 in Cutstown, 37 in Newark, 38 in Smyrna and 34 in Princeton. Brigantine coming in at 41 degrees. So it's chilly. It's been worse, but you can see today certainly the coldest day of the week here. We had temperatures in the 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Today only in the 30s, but we're right back to the 40s for Friday and Saturday. And then it gets even warmer as we head toward the 60s early next week. Storm scan 3 showing quiet conditions. We had a few more clouds drift in here this afternoon. That's about it. But the system we're watching for the weekend is this you see right down here. It's developing over the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to move across the deep south and out into the open Atlantic. But instead of being drawn toward the coast, as we were concerned about, it looks as though it's going to stay away for the most part. Your forecast at a glance for tomorrow. I'll step out of the way so you can see it. 46 degrees will be the high. We'll start the day in the low 30s, upper 20s in some spots. We'll climb to a high in the mid to upper 40s in the afternoon. And you can see on the bottom there your precipitation chances. Very negligible for tomorrow. Doesn't look like we'll see any precipitation tomorrow. However, things are going to change for the weekend, but you can see the trajectory that this storm will take. It's going to exit the coastline right over portions of North Carolina and then move offshore, possibly a little light rain or scattered showers. That's about it. Sunday morning could start with a stray rain or snow shower, but otherwise mild air is waiting in the wings and that will lift in as we get into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So as far as Friday night into Saturday is concerned, some light rain showers, possibly some mixing to the north and west. That that's about it. And then we see things really start to change as we get into next week. So your future temperatures again will be in the 40s as we get into next week. Having a little bit of a glitch there. I'll have your seven day forecast coming up for you guys in just a few minutes. We'll send it back over to you. Okay, thank you.